Hey y'all, let's just jump right into this video. So the first thing that I do is go ahead and make a QR code. I will have all the links that I use down below as resources. This one works just fine for me. And I do the social media button for this purpose to link multiple things on the QR code. Right here I am showing that you guys that you can go ahead and edit it and um, customize it the way that you want to. You know, make sure it's in your brand colors, whatever the case may be. For me, I did add my website URL, my Facebook page, my Instagram page, and my YouTube. You can add most social media outlets on the QR code like Twitter, so on and so forth. LinkedIn, you know, you get it. So that's what I do. So here I'm scrolling down and showing you the other features that this website has to offer. You can upload your own logo. So as the page is loading, it will be your specific logo. So I'm going to zoom in and show you guys how that looks like once it's added. You see to the right how it zoomed into my logo before it showed up to all the links. I'll show you guys one more time close up so you can see. So once I'm done adding all the links that I want, I click next and save the QR code. You can save it in any way you want. There's multiple frames and different designs depending on your personal preference. So that's nice, that's cute. So in this part of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how I pretty much got the design. I purchased my template from the same person I purchased my product labels from just because it was easier and I'm already used to using template and working with her so that was the first option as far as a menu list they are priceless whichever you want to call them they are fairly cheap and with template you can edit them yourself so that's really nice so once I get into templates, I just go ahead and open the price list. I had already edited this. This is the one I posted in the Facebook groups. And the back page is where I added my QR code. Wherever you want to edit, it's up to you. But the way that I added it on template is that I uploaded the QR code to my pictures on template. And then just positioned it how I wanted it on the price list. Real simple, real easy. So once I'm done positioning the QR code, I'll just go ahead and download both the pages, print them front and back, and laminate them. Now if you don't want to spend money on a price list template, you can go ahead and do it on Canva for the low low. So pretty much I just put in price list or you can also create your custom dimensions based on the size that you want it. Some people like a thank you card size, like a 4x5x2x5. By 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 Some people like the A5 size, half letter, A4 size. So you can do your own custom dimensions. I think also Canva is easier because you can really design it any way you want and just do a blank template if you wanted to. But here on Canva, I pretty much just chose any price list. Um, and the same thing goes, I just uploaded the QR code download to my Canva, added it to a second page, and positioned it as I wanted it to be. And that's all. So all you would do, like I said before, is print, double-sided however your printer works, laminate it if you choose to, or print on a certain type of paper that, you know, is durable. And that is it. It's quick and easy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see me actually, like, make a physical one, 
and show you how I use my printer, go ahead and leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe.